What can possibly go wrong? What can possibly go wrong? Go to hell with all of you. Now, wait a minute. So it's not really virtual reality because they blink and what the flying fuck computer graphics by an Amiga. Virtual reality is like it's in your head. So if they blink this shit and it happens, the helmet is no longer necessary. Yeah, and let's teach kids gambling while we're at it. Fuck it. Humble you? Isn't that code for butt sex? Jesus Christ, they have ADHD, like, HD ADHD. It's insane. Or 4K HD, whatever it is. Here comes Whiplash. Or imminent death. Yes, don't be a dummy. Yay, death. Now, where are those two little monsters? They could do anything with that helmet. Oh boy. That's a huge hairball. Oh god, upskirt shot. Sure. Let's go find him. Okay. Yo, you found him all right. Ew, I stepped on something squishy. Me too. Wait, but it's uh, one foot. Are you conjoined twins? Uh, uh, Little snots, I'll Having kill you. And if that's a crime, then book us. Oh, I'll Damn throw it. just Keep books at you. How about hey, that? Hey, hey, you... Arnold is standing up. Thank you, Arnold. I don't give a damn if it's your Bob Mitzvah, Harry Carey, New Year's, and bullshit all rolled into one. Uh, you damn near killed us. Oh, shut up and listen to the plan, you ninny. Now then, I can't say ninny, that's racist. Judge the proper trajectory and velocity and release you like a bomb. A buzz bomb, if you will. Yeah. Bombs over <laughs> buzz, dad. Things. It's a very good plan. You'll catch them totally by surprise and snatch the helmet. Then you'll break your neck and I can eat you too. Good luck. Bad plan. Bad But there's not rain and what? Oh, you beheaded him. How great. Well, Sydney, I see you finally have that helmet. And how do you know his name? Yeah. Continuity issues again. Oh, Bobby. I'm going to make you a deal that's based on the hunch. The hunch being that you have a very, very small brain. Almost as small as mine. the stale corn dog for the helmet. Food. Oh my god, are we really gonna benefit on the lowest common denominators here? If I'm not intruding, where's the helmet? You didn't trade it for food, did you, Sid? What are you talking about? I'm just eating this piece of paper. Because I've got Heitka. Well, I did it. I saved the entire planet. And no one will ever know. Thank God. Because if you had recognition, what the flying fuck? Oh, fuck you, Arnold. I know you're being a smart ass and throwing it back at Bubsy, but don't fucking say it. At last, Virgil Reality's helmet is all mine. Now I'll make myself rich beyond my wildest dreams. I can't I'll wait. Start by by creating Harpo Productions. It will be beyond wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and your fingers snap.
Next, I want, let's see, what do I want? A mauve velvet love seat and a jacuzzi. And Elvis serenading oh, yeah. me 24 7. She is funny. Well, Allie, uh, if you'll excuse us, we have some uh, cooking to do. Come on, bad oh, touch. Oh, Come yeah. on, bad cooking touch. Yeah. We can make great mud pies. Yes, but you'll make it even better, Kachatori. Oh, goody. I love food puns. Really, the bad touches, people. Hey, babe, dun, no dun, dun. Dun. Now your hair back. Bug D will return after these messages. Do what blows my hair back? I'd be in jail if I did that. All right, all right. Don't go catatonic on me. Oh, oh goody cat back. puns, my favorite. Thank what you. Went wrong? God, God. I lost the twins and the helmet. And your and dignity. And any oh, sense of self-respect. And anything else it's anybody it's can possibly have for the fucking cartoon. Oh, no, Way, you've sentenced the universe to certain annihilation. I knew that when he came out with the sequel to his first game. The truck fell from the sky. Get a grip, Arnie. I'm busy berating myself. Oh, can I do it too? With a wrench? Or, well, I guess that's a thing. We're gonna beat ourselves with a sidekick. Because why the fuck? Because that's easily confusable. I know you still believe in me. And if you're crazy enough to believe in me, why shouldn't I be crazy enough wow, to believe Bubsy in is the biggest megalomaniac there, ever. And, I'm not coming back without the twins and, and you the honestly twins. thought this could compete with Sonic. Because, you know, the writers put this in because they couldn't think of another way to do it. But no thanks. I'll just look up the turkey and the rat in the phone book instead. Okay, let's see here. Last name, Rat. Shrew. He's a shrew. You're being shrewd. <laughs> Come back here. Oh, I hate Dude, why are you boiling boogers? Oh, hello, Sid here. Hello, Sid. This is Bubsy Bobcat, president and owner of Bubsy's Catering Service. Oh, now, goody. Because of your this is going to be a really brain, great You have been chosen line. to receive no. a free banquet dinner for 50. Oh, oh, my food. Food. Come the food is my heroine. This is great. I'll bring you all the food right now. Just give me your address. Uh huh. Uh, thank you what? Very much. 1007 Get Bent Lane? Very, very I don't know where that's at. Just give that bobcat our address? Oh. First of all, I'd have to know what our address is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Animal cruelty on a hypodermic Buzz level. Said, this helmet is making me angry. Just look at what it's done to my hair! It's oh, an improvement, Alan, actually. I know how important your hair is, dude, but I fear I have some Oh, more God. Can you keep the floor play to in the bedroom, the Sid? Well, Quit licking the buzzard. Sid here told that idiot bobcat the location of your lair. I watched... He what? Apparently he called on the phone. Yeah, you know uh, that thing Alexander Graham Bell invented a long time ago. When the bobcat shows up, we simply... Refuse to answer the door. Sublime brilliance. That, yeah, that Hello. actually is brilliant. Bubsy's catering service here for a Mr. Sid the Vicious Shrew. Oh, Sid Vicious? All right, turkey. All right. Why would you the put Sid over. Vicious the the fat to a shrew? Now, hand that so helmet over before I'm forced to humble you. Again, the butt so sex so references. Oh, oh, God, stop, stop. Oh, God, stop. So you think you're cute, huh? I am both attractive and intelligent. Okay, but I don't know how scratching your fingernails against chalkboard makes you cute. If you're conduct. No, no, no. Conduct with a B. Oh my god, I have fresh in sound about this elephant. Give me that. I just broke your spine. Go for it, Terry. On second thought, don't go for it, Terry. Just yeah, and how about this? You blink in the cartoon end. That would be really good. Oh, in with the cake. Hey. I am what the fuck? To be my I'm glad to see that Bobby. the buzzard's the bridesmaid. That was perfect. Now you're all in hot water. This is the hot shit. Yes. Yeah, you dang woman, I'll knock you out. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is not going to get in. God, this is like everything I hate about insane sidekicks rolled into one. Oh, definitely. Uh oh. Gimme, gimme! Oh, Jesus Christ. The truck. Because that's going to just fix this whole thing. 
Yeah, the rich and furry. That's actually somewhat funny. Welcome to Anthrocon. What the hell is with the fuck? Oh god, I can't. I cannot. I cannot keep up with this shit. Do something, Betsy. Come here, would you? That would be fancy, and of course I will. Oh, oh, I'm about the climax. Oh, good. Please. Headshot. 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 Now, I'm gonna imagine something so mind-numbingly incredible that it will instantly save the day. What, the Dreamcast 2? Yes, oh yes, I like it! That might save the world. that's a close I think I saw Elvis! So did I, in Las Vegas. A couple of times. I did, babe. I'm a hero for crying out loud. And, and that's up for debate. Name right. I did? Well, Addy, old pal. Oh. It just goes to show you. You gotta live oh, on the no. edge. Yes, with the non sequiturs go again. For the gusto. Oh, look, Fargo, North Dakota. You gotta be a hero for yeah. crying out loud. You gotta be the most annoying shit ever. That's why you can't beat me. Bubsy the annoying fuck Bobcat. I'm gonna step into a slim gym! I think the helmet shorted out. You're probably just being electrocuted. I knew that. I was Good. You, Please Besides, end him. End him now. Shut the fuck up with that. What is that like seven or eight now? Oh. I don't even know if I wanna sit through these credits because tears are forming. Tears of blood are forming in my eyes right now. Let me check. Yeah. They're red. They're red. Oh, I wonder how the horse has been reacting. It hasn't blinked or moved. Wow. Just like every other cartoon or thing that I've ever seen someone do a reaction video with. Oh, fuck it. I just end the shit, please. The horse and I plead for you to stop. Thank you very much, Calico. Oh my goodness gracious. What the flying fuck is this? This wasn't funny. It wasn't fun. You've got a PTSD armadillo. You've got a hyperactive fuck bobcat. You've got things that should not be. It's all culminated into this 24 fuck minute which felt like an eternity. I've done a ton, a ton of these videos. I, this is the second time I've gone through, like, what have I got over? Like 30 on this series alone. And there was the Pony series before. So I've got probably around 70 episodes. I don't know what the YouTube tore down, but I have like 70 episodes that I've witnessed. And I mean, I've seen things like Cinderella and Snow White and the Cle Seven Clever Boys that are like... This is just cheap cash-in. That's all this is. No effort. No nothing. Just throw it on a PlayStation 2 disc. Sell this dopey kids in Germany because they'll buy it because Germany has no fucking taste. And then you're going to fucking do this? <sighs> then you got this scale. Okay. Like I said. Calm. Okay. So, you've got... Get rid of, get rid of the picture of the horse. Just It's done. The joke's over. So, you've got this. Now, I remember in the early 90s, still watching cartoons, that they pretty much let anything go in terms of what the hell they want to show kids, or what they thought would be quality entertainment. This, this, I can't even describe... First of all, whoever turned it down, I'd l I want to know who those executives are because I want to thank each and every last one of them. I want to shake their hands and give them... I I'd actually treat them all to dinner because they made a very wise choice. Given in the early 90s some of the worst shit possible was produced, that they had the gall to create this idea thinking it would sell that some executives were like, you know what? Animation is art. And the art of the 
the art of the cartoon has certain tenets that we must observe. This cartoon observes none of that. None of that. And they said, no. Thank you. Further proof. Yes, there is a God because he allowed that shit to be turned down. Thank you. Thank you. I really don't have anything constructive for this this breakdown because it would it would imply that I could actually watch this, observe some flaws or plot points or anything and be a little bit more constructive towards it. And I can't. All I see is blind rage after the first two minutes because it's not funny. This cartoon is just hyperactive boring. And there's nothing to it. And I think that's the worst fate a cartoon can have is to be boring and hyperactive at the same time because you're trying to hey kids hey kids hey kids but you do nothing even the kids said it best say it kids yeah, we're bored. that's right they're bored I'm bored all I did was get angry I don't know if that's a good thing but I hear that's a popular thing to do on YouTube as well so I hit two birds with one stone I had a non-reacting horse watching a shitty cartoon and I got angry this should get 30 million hits Straight up 30 million fuck hits because I'm hitting all the things the YouTube algorithm says I should. Huh. Alright. So. That's what I feel. Is what anybody should take away from Bubsy the Cartoon. Next time on Philly Film Rips. Something new. Maybe something better. I don't know if I can get possibly worse, but something new and exciting. So until then, toodles. Hey kids, did you like the fact that I had a synapse in the middle of a cartoon? Do you like more stuff like that? Well check me out on Horse Moment Media. Here's a whole bunch of links that you can just click on and check out. I also have a Facebook page, Patreon page, you know, if you actually like me and can support me, that's really cool. Because this isn't my full time gig, I wouldn't mind it to be. But, you know, if you don't, that's fine. I'll just keep going back to the sludge trail of doing what I do. So, click on some stuff. Like me. No, don't like me, please. Whatever. I don't care. Click on stuff if you want. Bye.